Everything man has created has led to the destruction of something else. Man created buildings, destroyed forests, built industries, polluted air and water around them, created bombs, destroyed peace. Such widespread strength has not come without consequence. The Earth's fragile ecosystem has been put to the test like never before. We are on the verge of crisis which could threaten mankind's very existence. Global warming today has reached a crisis point due to the ever so many factors contributing to it. And yet, so few solutions are available for remedy. Only time will tell if these solutions will work. Today we explore one such solution which starts right at the bottom of marine food chain. The food chain in water, as on land, begins with plants. Phytoplankton the plant form of plankton forms the absolute bottom of the food chain in the oceans. Phytoplankton obtains energy through the process of photosynthesis and therefore lives in the well-lit surface layer of the oceans, lakes and other water bodies. Phytoplankton accounts for half of all photosynthetic activity on Earth. Diatom algae are microscopically small plants that have silica cell walls and are responsible for more than 50% of the world's marine food. Blue-green algae are cyanobacteria that have cellulose cell walls. Cellulose is not easily digested by marine animals and hence they do not support extensively the food chain. Blue-green algae proliferate heavily in polluted water bodies, giving the water bluish green tone. Sometimes they release toxins that are not only harmful for the aquatic animals but also for the terrestrial animals like cattle. Diatoms on the other hand absorb nutrients and carbon dioxide producing food and oxygen by photosynthesis. The oxygen released helps aerobic bacteria in breaking down the organics and converting the pollutants to base constituents. years, plankton have provided oxygen and nourishment for larger marine creatures. But today, because of the alarming pollution, plankton is at a grave threat. And so is our fragile ecosystem. Mr. Sampath Kumar, hailing from Bangalore, seems to have found a proactive solution for this pressing problem. After years of experimentation, he finally came up with Nuvalgi, which helps in the bloom of diatoms in water. It appears that the diatoms provide only food for the zooplankton and fishes, but that is not true. It is much more than that. It absorbs carbon dioxide, it absorbs nutrients and provides plenty of oxygen and food in the food chain. Whatever happens, the entire uh, the quantum of uh, carbon that is fixed is something incredible. You have to uh, realize that more than 40% of the world's 50 to 55 billion tons of carbon that is fixed is done 
by the uh, diatoms in the oceans and it is equivalent to almost the entire tropical uh, rainforest how much uh, carbon is fixed it, it, it equals that. So yeah, then yeah. the diatoms are in turn consumed by the small an animals called zooplankton. The zooplankton are in turn consumed by the fishes, small fishes and the small fishes are consumed bigger fishes till it reaches the seals, the whales, the walruses and the bigger animals. Ultimately it reaches man uh, and uh, via the polar bears and things like that. So uh, it forms the entire food chain for the uh, marine food chain. Um, my first contact with the diatoms was uh, when I started a hatchery in Mahabalipuram. At that time we needed to grow uh, live food for the growth of for the prawns. So what we did was we used to have add all the salts the and along with EDTA and produce the uh, diatoms in a very uh, uh, conventional way. Then I realized that the diatoms need silica cell, cell walls and then all the nutrients that a plant requires as it grows in land. Based on his industrial experience and exhaustive reading, Mr. Sampath developed a nano compound containing all nutrients for diatom growth. Extensive experiments were carried out in the backwaters at New Napoleon in North Chennai. Then I realized that the diatoms, they have a golden brown in color. So if you add any nutrient to any water body, the color of the water has to become golden brown. More changes had to be done to the compound to make it work in fresh and polluted waters. New algae was ready for commercial consumption in 2005. Any plant that has needs to grow needs about plenty of micronutrients that is available to it at the place where it is existing. Now micro plants they are all in very small size, they are in distributed throughout the length and breadth of water. Now the water should contain all the nutrients that the micro plant needs for it to absorb. So what I thought was if uh, diatoms have silica cell walls, probably the, they need silica in a large quantity and then they will need all the micronutrients to be available where they are growing. Now, in any of these water bodies, if you add any inorganic form, they will the cations and anions will react and they will precipitate out of the system. They will not be dispersed in the water. So that is a big problem. So what then I devised a method to make a nanote nanotechnology compound. What I did was I had a, a base compound which is made of silica and on that I loaded all the micronutrients that are required for the plant growth. Now those things are stable in the even in the sea water or any polluted water. So once they are stable, the, uh, the, all the nutrients are dispersed in the water body. Once the nutrients are available in the water body, they, they bloom very fast. They bloom very fast, they absorb carbon dioxide, they absorb the nutrients, they give out oxygen and they produce plenty of food in the system. The entire food is are, uh, con consumed by the uh, zooplankton and the entire it goes on to the height of the food chain. The growing diatoms absorb carbon dioxide and nutrients and release oxygen by photosynthesis. The oxygen produced helps clean up the, uh, helps the aerobic bacteria clean up the entire water body and the whole, uh, whole thing, uh, uh, the diet, blooming of the diatoms uh, ends up cleaning up the water body and producing plenty of food for the marine system. The fishermen started using new algae to aerate sewage polluted waters and prevent fish kill. They made a surprising discovery Whenever new algae was used, the cyanobacteria growing in the ponds used to crash and float as scum. This is now a standard method to remove blue-green algae. New algae has been tried at several sewage-laden lakes in Bangalore, which include the lakes at Madiwala, Alsur, Vengayanakere, Putanahalli, and so on. In a number of cases, there was mass fish kill where new algae solved the problem.